the middle of a lugging. This is we start at Manningham Woods. Path comes out through the uh, churchyard here in the lugging, and then we go through the gate straight on down the bottom left. Which brings you out, you'll see the tennis court there. And at the tennis court, you go right, and that takes you down through the woods to Four Tree. It's a lovely place to run, but uh, you've got to watch your footing so, <laughs> and your head. Uh, so uh, I'm not on a video too much in here. So if you're not careful, you can turn an ankle or, or go over. Uh, basically, you just keep coming down the hill to uh, the bottom. Uh, there's a bit at the top where uh, there's a right and a left, and you go right because it's down the hill. Um, and uh, when you get to the bottom, you just uh, cross over the uh, the water here and uh, flat for a little bit and then just uphill, up into Paul Tree, and then you can pretty much see the sea. Just got to cross over the water just here. And through there you can, you can see the sea. Just come out onto the top of Hoblick Road. Now, normally I'd go right down the bottom to the sea just for the sake of it just because you might as well particularly if you're continuing the run doing the coast to coast it's nice to be right by the water at both ends but because uh, I've sort of acquired the dog I'm going to keep my time on the public roads to a minimum so I get him on the lead which is not fun for running and we'll get him across the main road at the bottom and pick up the coast to coast trail Sunnyvale Road is the one that you want for the Coast to Coast Trail. Uh, this is kind of a loop, kind of a crescent. It goes up to the main bit of town, or the village, uh, up near the pub, at the, uh, near the other end by the harbour. Uh, you can pick it up there as well. But uh, people, it's surprisingly tucked away, the, the start of kind of the, the trail bit of the Coast to Coast Trail, the old tramway. What you're looking for are these signs, follow the arrows, yonder. And up here. Just watch out for this bit. The sign is there, but it's the right hand, the right hand one you want. Uh, as you can see, we've, uh, without, really noticing much of a climb. We're quite a, a way above the roads now and above the uh, the rooftops. Along the embankment. This is still the, the path that the old mining trams used to take to, to Paul Tree. Way back when. There's not much uh, evidence of the uh, the actual tram tracks now, but this is the way they came. By the village of Mauler, which is over there behind that hedge somewhere. And now we're, we're off the road again. <laughs> On a bridle way, as you can tell. Uh, and this goes uh, all the way to Deverin, which is kind of on the south coast. But uh, this is a nice run. I, I don't need that many miles today somehow I'd have to get home. Uh, so I will do that bit and show you that another time, but uh, today I'm gonna go with a bit of an explore, so we'll see what we can find. That's, uh, I think that's Will Peaver over there. The calm brain in the background, it's Will Peaver, which was uh, a thing, it was a group of three engine houses. And, uh, the arrangement of them is quite unique and they uh, restored them so we can have a look around. Uh, cost of 875 grand. Uh, but it's very nice. I'll see if we can find my way over there and might have a look. Hey, 
some oil peaver. Let's go and have a look. This is a stamps house. Which, as it suggests, was used for smashing stuff up. There you got the sea, go past the stone sash, and to RAF poor tree. And you can just about make out the valley that we ran down earlier. Down to poor tree that way. And this is the winding house. landscape now but once upon a time this was pretty barren it was all sooty and mining aggregate and all sorts you know good these three great big houses all you know belching coal fires into the, the sky and stuff crazy that's what the uh, I think the trams will bring up a lot of time. I'm taking the, the ore out, of course, but uh, then one time they're bringing the coal in, uh, which came into poor tree. And they used it to fire engine houses like these ones. Right, enough of the history lesson. I'm going home, otherwise, I'm going to miss the England game. I can't have that. So I'll catch you later.